morning, everybody. We are headed south this morning to do our first ever kayak fishing tournament. Looking forward to it. Uh, myself and Kevin and Chris, we're all newbies. Ain't none of us ever fished a kayak fishing tournament before. So, uh, going to give it a try. I had the dream last night. I usually have this dream opening day of deer season or something else like that. I had the dream that I slept, uh, overslept in the alarm. And then I was, you know, when I woke up, the sun was out and I was like, holy crap, I missed it. So, uh, we're gonna head down here to a spot that we fished before. Might look a little familiar to some of y'all. And uh, we're giving it a try. Chris pre-fished yesterday. Uh, was it not the didn't have the best luck me and Kevin have not pre-fished any but uh, like I said this is a spot we fished before so we're going to give it a try and uh, see how that goes so uh, y'all hang in there and uh, let's see how our first tournament goes in the marsh on our first tournament so uh, we could start fishing at six o'clock which was still dark by the time I got up to where I wanted to fish up here it was ten minutes after six so I've been fishing a little bit I've caught one little dink trout so tide is incoming on the marsh it should turn this morning to go back to outgoing uh, tides a little high water levels a little bit high but that's all right looking for trout here in the marsh. So uh, kind of came back as far as I'm going to go in the marsh. And I'm just going to slowly start working my way back towards the intercoastal. Fishing the drains. I've got some deep holes here that I'm going to fish. And uh, maybe we can put something together. Don't know. First tournament. No expectations of doing well at all. Just uh, want to fish it and uh, meet some more, some more new uh, kayak anglers. So stick with us. We'll see if I can catch anything else. We got it this time. Let's see what it is. That actually flounderish. It is. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Let's see if we can ease him up here. Be nice too. Wants to get all crazy. Yep. Get his crazy self in the net. How about that? Decent one. He'll probably be 17, 18 incher. Yeah, thank you, buddy, for doing that. He might go back. We'll see. Maybe not. He's a keeper. We probably ain't. Chill, buddy. Chill. Almost 17. I guess he's going on the stringer. So, 8 o'clock tournament update. On the board with a 16 and a half inch flounder. So, current's a little strong back in here right now. It's supposed to be turning here pretty soon, supposedly. But we're going to pull right back up here where we just caught this one. This was kind of what I was thinking was my best trout spot back here in the marsh uh, and just uh, pulled out a flounder, had a bite and then caught a flounder so we'll go ease back up here and try it again yeah we got him I don't know what he is hmm. 
little red. Or a trout. Hmm. We will have to make sure. Yeah, I think he's gonna be a bit short. So we got one. o'clock report uh, still the one flounder three dink trout and lots of company back over here in the marsh uh, have it put back into a little back lake have not seen anything that looks like a redfish so uh, then we'll pick up head back out here to the mouth of the marsh see if I can uh, locate some trout there work my way back across the intercoastal and back towards the, uh, the uh, ramp. So there's one 16 and a half inch flounder right now. Uh, it's kind of quieted down from this morning. I know the bait's here, but it, there's just not a whole lot moving around. Tide is still incoming. So I don't know what to think about that. Tide chart says it ought to be out going right now. But it ain't. No. All right. Stick with us. All right. It's 11 o'clock. Still haven't got nothing else. Chris, with his slam, he was fishing the windblown shoreline. So, uh, me and Kevin had worked our way across, back across the intercoastal, back over to this. Uh, other end of the bay so I'm gonna go over here in this little uh, back lake and check out the windblown shoreline on that one and uh, see if we can come up with anything so, plan is to get off the water at 2 so we'll uh, got about three more hours to see what we can do hang in there <laughs> How big a redfish are you? 
Oh, oh Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. I wonder if this thing will go down. Pretty one. Holy cow, Batman. Huh. We just need a flounder now. Or not a flounder. A, uh... Twenty-seven and a half inch redfish. That might do it, boys. That might do it. Alright. So 16 and a half inch flounder. 27 and a half inch red. We need a trout. So let's go out here and find us a trout. Holy cow. Hold, don't give up. Wind blown shoreline. Why, why am I leaving? Why am I leaving? Huh? Why am I leaving? There could be trout over here. They go to look. Alright. Alright. The noon tournament report. How are we doing? So this will be the last one before the we're going to try to get off the water here in a couple hours. So I've got a 27 and a half inch red. Yay. 16 and a half inch flounder. Yay. Looking for a trout. Chris has got a trout, a flounder, and a red. So he's got a slam. And he was working on some other trout. I don't know if he caught any more. And Kevin's still looking for his first fish. So there's the tar tournament update for us here at the Salty Act. So we're gonna keep fishing and uh, we'll see y'all weigh in and see what we got. Uh, 22, uh, 23. We short. Jesus! 
Thank you. Holy cow, Batman. Holy Thank you. 